Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. Today's edition is a Tom's Toolbox, and that makes me Tom Clark, your host. And today, I'm going to demonstrate Milwaukee's new innovative fluorescent lighting tester that I have right here. Did you know the lighting market in the U.S. is a multi-billion dollar market? No, really, billion. I'm talking multi-billion dollar market, and lighting is one of the top applications for electricians and maintenance personnel. Now, Milwaukee's new fluorescent lighting tester is a great way to increase productivity and save money by accurately testing your lighting fixtures at your facility. I mean, this tool allows you to test lamp, ballast, and pins with one easy to use tool. Now, I should note that before beginning the demonstration, this product is primarily designed for testing T5, T8, and T12 fluorescent fixtures. Uh, with fluorescent lighting, too often bulbs are prematurely removed or discarded from your facility. Come on, you know you do it. You grab them from the top of the lighting, you throw them, see how far you can toss them into the garbage can and they bust everywhere, right? It's gonna cost you a lot of money. Now, there are multiple reasons a fluorescent light might not work properly. And identifying and resolving the correct problem areas, well, it's gonna save you time and money. Two things I know you like, I like them, I know you've got to. Now, in front of me, I have got a lighting fixture along with Milwaukee's fluorescent lighting tester. Now we're gonna begin our diagnostic test of the light fixture to determine if we got a bad lamp, bad ballast, bad pins, or maybe we've got multiple failures, all right? First out, with the fluorescent light tester, we've got it in the lamp mode setting, which is the first one right here over to the left. And you, know, you can see I can use it with one hand if I need to, which is pretty cool. We're gonna perform the lamp test. Now we hold the end of the antenna to any part of the lamp Press and hold the test button that we have right here. Now, if the lamp begins to flicker, we know the bulb is good. But if not, we know we have a bad lamp and we'll need to replace the lamp. And testing can be performed before or after installing the lamp. For this one, though, I've got the lamp pulled out. I've got it in the lamp mode. I've got my finger on the test button. All right. Yeah. You see the way it's lighting up right there? That's right. That means that we have got ourselves a good bulb and we're in good shape. All right, next up with the fluorescent light tester, we're gonna put it in the ballast mode setting. One click down. We're gonna perform a ballast test. Again, by holding the antenna to the lamp near the incoming source of power, we press and hold the test button. If the fluorescent light tester begins beeping, no, it's not backing up, we know we have a working ballast. Now, if we do not hear a beeping sound, we know the ballast is bad, it's gonna to need to be replaced. Now, in order to properly test it, we need to ensure current is flowing to the unit, I got my plug right over here. Light is on. Ballast mode. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. And I've got a beep. And we're good to go. That means that our ballast is good. Disconnect my power source and we're good to go. Finally, we got the fluorescent light tester in the pin mode. One more click. And you can hear the beep as it does that. We're going to perform the pin test. You simply insert the lamp's pins into the back of the fluorescent light tester press the test button. We should hear a beeping sound. Now, we know the pins are bad, the lamp is bad, and going to be need to be replaced if we do not hear that beep. So let's hope for the beep. The pins we're talking about, of course, are on the end of our bulb right here. And then you can see this is where we're going to insert it, in the back of the light tester right here. Press the test button. We got a beep, and that means we've got ourselves good pins. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of our discussion, the fluorescent light tester replaces what's called the HOPE strategy for troubleshooting fixtures. Well, I sure hope that light works, and I, I hope that ballast isn't bad. Yeah, that's what they call the uh, HOPE strategy. So with this one simple tool from Milwaukee, you can perform a complete test of lamps, ballast, and pins without dismantling fixtures. Oh, and what else? The unit also comes with a uh, two and a half foot retractable antenna for extended reach. And also a little sword fight action there. Uh, visual and audible test feedback dial and buttons positioned for one hand use. You saw me using it with one hand right there. And built-in flashlight to illuminate the dark work areas. That's our flashlight right there. There's a button on the side. Hello, light it up and you're good to go. This is a great way to test the fluorescent lighting in your facility. Why? Well, it can address all potential problem areas without the hassle of using 
multiple tools. Hopefully, this is going to help you with your practical application. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Oh, and uh, don't forget to wear proper PPE. When you're doing any kind of testing like this, I had my glasses on. You may want to wear glasses, gloves, whatever it calls for at your facility. That's what you've got to wear because safety is always your number one concern. Your number two concern is occasionally picking up a bulb and doing things like this. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Test you, I will. Anyway, don't forget to also watch other how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thank you for watching today's edition of Tom's Toolbox. We'll see you next time.